want to I want to thank everybody for coming. You know, we we've, we're trying to do a lot here to restore the historic luster of the National Uptown Tenderloin Historic District. And you know, over the past couple of years, we we've, we've installed plaques, historic plaques, in over 100 historic buildings. We have a lost landmarks sidewalk program we're soon going to institute. But we also wanted to restore some of the historic old advertising signs, which really develop the neighborhood's character. And in order to get this money, there's something called a challenge grant program. And when this challenge grant program, when we applied for the grant, the person in charge of that program ultimately was a CAO named Ed Lee. And so in his former job, the mayor had to decide whether to fund this project. And fortunately, he did. And if, if, is Lenita Enriquez here from the Challenge Grant Program? Lenita, she said she was going to be coming. But, but Lenita uh, shepherded it through, and we had support, uh, additional financial support from Bill Tacor, who, who uh, runs the Warfield. Where's Bill? Bill has been very generous. And John Dugan of Original Joe's, who will be speaking later. John Dugan. So I do want to mention, as we sit here, you see that great historic pedestrian lighting, which we only have on Taylor Street and on a small part of Golden Gate. I didn't know this, but it turned out when he was also CAO, Ed Lee got those installed on Taylor Street. And as part of our negotiations with CPMC over their hospital, the mayor's office, Mayor Lee is supporting a plan which would add 135 historic pedestrian street lights to the Tenderloin. So that is an incredibly important thing for those, both from an aesthetic point of view, but more importantly, a safety point of view, because we are also one of the darkest neighborhoods. So this is, this is, this is uh, a very important thing, but you can see how nice those are, and just imagine how they would look throughout the neighborhood. Before I introduce the mayor, I also want to introduce Leroy Looper, who went way back with Ed, as I did, back in the 80s in the Tenderloin. And of course, I always introduce Leroy because nothing any of us that I'm doing, my organization, or any of us are really doing, it all began with Leroy's vision when he bought the Cadillac Hotel in the late 1970s. So he and Kathy uh, always want to, where Kathy is somewhere, uh, always want to thank that Kathy's trying to get out of sight. We always need to appreciate them for their contributions. So before further ado, I'd like to introduce the person who made this possible, Mayor Ed Lee. Great podium there, Randy. Yes. <laughs> Move them up. The tenderloin. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm happy to be here and also to celebrate these wonderful murals that have been restored. I mean, Randy uh, notes, and we've been working together for many, many years as tenant attorneys in the neighborhood for decades before. And I just love the fact that he's leading this effort with so many of the other community people, like John Dugan and others. And it, this community challenge grant was an easy decision that we made. And I see uh, Amy Brown here, our uh, acting city administrator, she's continuing that uh, very good uh, uh, community-based approach to our community challenge grants with Lenita, working in close concert with people like Gia Grant from uh, city, uh, Clean City. And they're doing a lot of the sweeping around here and working with all the different nonprofits as well. Uh, I want to thank Tenderloin, uh, uh, neighborhood Development Corporation is here today as well, and you're part of our partnership along with the uh, uh, Tenderloin Economic Development Corporation. Thank you very much for being partners here today, Dave. And, you know, I, I want to celebrate these because they are part of our history, but we're renovating them. We're renovating them and giving them a facelift. Uh, these things are historical parts of this district, and they give life to the history that we're still trying to make sure people feel and see the vibrancy of this community. And uh, you've got to see the other ones as well, because you'll see the one that says uh, uh, Original Joe's. Sorry, John is here. And you also see a Coca-Cola one. I want to I wanna see whether Priscilla Eyes can put the, that other phrase in there. It's the real thing. I wanna, I'm missing that. Uh, that's got to be there. But it's all about great restoration. We're even doing some restoration at City Hall this morning for some windows that were smashed as well. So the theme this week is restoration, uh, and it is about making sure we pay attention to the Uptown Tenderloin uh, Historic District. And we're also, we've done this for some years now, ever since the fire that occurred here. Unfortunately, there was a fire a couple of years ago. The city and my predecessor, uh, Gavin Newsom, asked me to come down here and work with the arts community, use every uh, available idea that we had. And we work with Amy Cohn and other Amy's here today with 
Office of Economic Development to really put uh, some of the key dollars here. And we funded uh, Gray Arts Foundation uh, right at the corner with the uh, Golden Gate uh, Theater and uh, with Show Dogs coming in in that corner with the Warfield Theater, their partnership, along with the Exit uh, Theater, working our way up this great street and finding out it was and had a lot of history to unshowcase and to make sure that we used our artistic ability, the ability to forge different arts programs to come here. So that's why we invested in Gray Area Arts Foundation and uh, they're taking over the old theater there uh, was a great help. And then now these murals. And I want to thank Presida Eyes for uh, their contribution in getting our two artists uh, here. Great artists who have histories of their own and and their work is presented here in, in unveiling these uh, old uh, advertising murals. And we're going to do more of this. Uh, I mean, just if you look at this and you see how refreshed it is, uh, this is wonderful resurgence of this whole community. So we want to continue doing that. We want to do it in partnership with this neighborhood. And that's what Randy's been all about. And that's why I've loved working with him, because he and everyone in this neighborhood wants to take pride in where they live and where they work. And we see kids growing up in the Tenderloin. They need to understand the history of this area. Uh, and they need to make sure not only that they're safe, but that they appreciate the history of this whole neighborhood. So I want to thank everyone for their level of cooperation. And again, to thank the artists here. We have uh, in, in Dugan's old place, now we've got Piano Fights Theater coming in. We have the uh, underground, uh, uh, the clay underground uh, there for the ceramics that's going in. And that again will will represent the role that art plays in helping us forge a revitalization of this whole neighborhood. We're doing that on Central Market as well, and that's just a stone's throw away from here. Uh, and we're trying to revitalize this whole street. Uh, this is ground zero for where arts, where the civic uh, mindedness of neighborhoods come together with our local government to forge these ongoing partnerships and make this revitalization uh, very, very welcomed and new. And I want to also announced that if you go around the corner here, you'll see uh, On Sushi, the newest uh, restaurant around. And they're investing in our neighborhood. A, a, a very reputable restaurant here has come in and they're gonna start another trend of some great food uh, establishments that will also be appearing around here as well. So you see this revitalization already happening. Uh, the inspiration comes from everybody working together and never abandoning our neighborhoods. We always don't wanna do that, right? All right. So thank you very much for being here. Again, I appreciate uh, everybody's cooperation and, and their roles. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. And the next speaker will be John, John Dugan, who is a legend and often uh, we, we, we appreciate that he's came. And again, he helped support these murals on the other side of his building. John. Mr. Mayor, I know you have a busy schedule, but before you leave, thank you for the courageous decision you made to run to keep this city ticking the way it is right now. And I speak not only for the Dugan family, but many of these people. You're a man at a tenderloin. You've eaten a lot of meals here. You've been around here. But thank you. I know it wasn't easy, but what a courageous decision, and we certainly are behind you. Uh, Randy Shaw. What can I say about Randy? We've, we've gone back and forth over about 30 years. But Randy, the mural restoration is another wonderful step and it's a happy step. A few months ago, we were here talking about police protection, et cetera. But this is a happy, happy step. It's something that the Tenderloin residents, the retail community, and the property owners can rejoice in. And as long as we continue, and I see Don Falk and Amy Cohen, who is so great uh, to my son, et cetera, here, as long as we continue to work together, this Tenderloin is going to get better and better. Randy, again, thank you for what you did here. Thank you very much. And then we, I want to know Carolyn Diamond from the Mid-Market CBD is here right there. Thank you, Carolyn. Because Market Street, as you look at, there's an article I have in the uh, Spur Urbanist about Market Street and the Tenderloin, shared past, joint futures. The two are very connected. The revival of one helps revival of the other. Now we're going to have the fun of hearing from the actual artist, Susan Cervantes. Susan, from Presida Eyes. Hey, thank you, Randy. 
Uh, thank you everyone for coming out and I want to thank the uh, mayor for such a passionate and caring uh, comments that he had made which really covers all of it. Um, for our part we feel uh, very honored to have this opportunity to do some restoration in the Tenderloin. Uh, we have a couple of other murals, one on Glide and one on Golden Gate that we've also contributed to the neighborhood's beautification and hope that um, all of these will last another 60 years or so. Um, we love the fact that this is historic and that, um, that it was amazing when we started to do the research on the signs uh, and looking at the walls themselves, how many layers there were of history. And to, it was hard to say, it, we took the ones that were the most recent and restored those even, and, and had to cover up uh, some of the others. But it's, it was amazing to see those layers. And of course, when you look at the Coca-Cola sign, you can see that the, the uh, railway school actually overlapped it. And so we sort of left part of the Coca-Cola there with the overlap. And so those are layers, layers of history. And uh, when we started to clean the wall, um, the crew that is responsible for the painting, I was just sort of directing them in the process of uh, recreating them, uh, making decisions about the color. But when you get up to the wall, uh, you, we take uh, chips off of the wall so that we have the actual color. When we were far away, we couldn't really see what color it really was until we got up there to see and then clean the chips and then match those colors. So that's part of the process of re restoration. This is a restoration. It's not just going up there and just painting them the, any way we want to. Uh, so we really wanted to preserve the history and the signs and the way that they were created back when, I don't know, maybe in the 30s or 40s. And um, also honoring uh, the, 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 the people who had been here and who put so much into the neighborhood. And I, like I said, I was not the one that painted them. I had some really very talented artists who uh, did all the work, got up there. It's like 56 feet high. It's a lot of scaffolding to go up and down. And so I know that um, my son, Suaro Cervantes, is standing here. Come on up, Suaro. Um, we have, there was four artists. Um, Eli uh, Lippert. Uh, who's also s said he was going to be here. I don't see him yet. And then uh, Peter Fraunfelder, and yeah, they're all on their way. Um, Peter Fraunfelder, and then uh, Frederick um, Al Alvarado, uh, who's actually uh, in Poland right now doing a community mural in Poland somewhere. Um, but we are all uh, very proud of the work, and we hope that you appreciate uh, the brightness and the uplifting of this community and the street, and uh, we really thank you very much. If you want to make any comments. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. I will, I will mention, you know, people know Original Joe's is moving to North Beach, but we are, as part of our his Lost Landmarks sidewalk plaque program, which we got from Grants for the Arts, there will be a plaque in front of Original Joe's installed, hopefully in September, October, that commemorates Original Joe's, as well as this is the site on that corner of the Compton's Cafeteria, the famous transgender riot, the start of the gay and lesbian, you know, uh, freedom movement in San Francisco will have a big plaque there as well. So we are in history here. This is history. So I want to thank all of you for coming and keep following what we're doing. I know on Friday there's a mur mural presentation at 100, 101 at the post office at Hyde and Golden Gate at, I believe, Dina at 430? 5 o'clock. So you might want to see that mural at the post office as the arts in the Tenderloin continues to flourish. Thank you again. Oh, Lenita just arrived. Okay, and Lenita, thank you for shepherding this, this through, because without the city staff doing it, these things do not happen, I can tell you that. Thank you. All right. Thank you.